Sorry that we're starting <clears throat> that we're starting so late this morning. Uh what am I trying to do here, boy man? I'm trying to share this thing. I'm trying to share the show. And and the reason why we're starting late this morning, folks, is because uh uh now you're gonna have to share the, the show for me. I'm sorry, my voice is very, very bad this morning. Very, very bad. <laughs> huh? Yeah. My voice is very, very, very much bad. Yeah, and uh, to those of you listening to the, watching the Facebook, watching the uh, video, kind of let me know how well it's uh, playing in terms of the audio. Because I like to make sure. You all can hear the audio very, very, very well. <clears throat> I made a cup of tea, but I'm, I'm going to have to go get my tea. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm just trying to set this thing up. I, I couldn't you know, give our people <clears throat> any excuses this morning for not being on. So, yeah. So, we we are here yeah, trying to do our best. Has my audio from my side, Walker. Well, it's okay. It's loud and clear. Loud and clear. And how's the audio from our listeners, our watchers, those of you watching via Facebook and those of you listening via tuning? Let me get a sound check yeah. from them. Um, I'm hearing that. You, you know that noise it makes, Barker, that, feed, that feedback it gives. Yeah. How's the situation in Liberia, Barker? Well, everything is calm for now. Everybody going about their normal businesses. Uh, the street is quiet, like normally on a Monday. Mm-hmm. But for now, everything is calm. Everybody just focus on the uh, county meet. It's all about uh, the county meet uh, this week. Uh, yeah, everybody cheering their own counties. For today, we'll be going to SKD to go and support uh, the winning team, which is Lofa County. <laughs> because you're from Lofa. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Barker, uh, go on. Let me go get my cup of tea. I, I, I really need that tea. <laughs> Okay, so folks, uh, wherever you are, welcome to another edition of the Costa Morning Show. We uh, are coming to you live on www.roots107fm.com. Here um, Pedro Costa in Boaca Camara. So it's been a long time since we uh, brought you this show. You know, we, um, we've we been up and down, but it's good that we are back on and back to stay. So 
uh, like I said, the atmosphere in the country is just all about the national county meet, where in everybody just cheering uh, their county. On Friday, was it Friday on Saturday? Other counties play today. Uh, Lofa County will be playing um, Bomi. Remember, Bomi is the defending champ. They won a trophy on last uh, season. So this year, um, we hoping that. Uh, Lofa County because everything has been done by the steering committee of Lofa to carry the champions. I'm doing it because I'm from Lofa though. So, <laughs> so Lofa will be supreme for uh, claiming a title this season. You know, man, we, Lofa, Lofa, we, we, Lofa, Lofa, we, we, Lofa, Lofa, Lofa can play football, man. <laughs> we put you, we put you also at Bon, bon County. Uh, so, so what stage is uh? Is the county meet now? The group? Yeah, it's cut up, cut up final. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So, uh, good morning, folks, and welcome to the program. This is um, the first edition of the Costa Show since uh, all this ordeal, and uh, of course, my return to the to the to the United States. It's very good to be here. Uh, very, very good to be here. This this morning, uh, uh, we will not do. Uh, it's, it's it's a thank you edition of the of the show, of the show. It's just prim primarily meant to say thank you to all of the people and organizations who helped secure my freedom. Um, that's primarily why we're doing the show this morning. And uh, of course, as you can hear, my voice is not of the best quality. Uh, mm. So this morning, I, I would like to begin by uh, just saying thank you. Thank you to the government of Sierra Leone for standing by uh, their laws and uh, for doing the right thing, um, for not honoring the request of their sisterly country. I, I can imagine it must have been a difficult thing for them to do, uh, but it was the right thing to do. Sometimes the right thing to do uh, is not necess necess necessarily an easy thing to do. So I want to thank the Sierra Leone government for that. I want to thank it, uh, their president, President Mara Bio. Uh, I want to thank the men and women of the Sierra Leone uh, Joint Security Forces uh, for the level of professionalism that was conducted and exhibited uh, during the period I was being detained and later released throughout. I just want to say thank you to, to, to them. I want to say thank you, a very big thank you to uh, the civil society organizations of Sierra Leone who speedily came to my defense, issuing a very strong joint statement demanding my immediate release. I want to thank them all. I believe it was a, a total number of seven of them, seven civil society groups in Sierra Leone. Oh, I just want to say thank you very, very much for that. I want to say thank you to um, uh, Attorney at Law, Samuel Kofi Woos, for all the phone calls that were made, the efforts that were made. I, I want to say thank you very, very much. I, I appreciate it. I, I want to say thank you to, there are lots of people here whose names I will not call, but they play key roles. But we can't call everybody's name. Not that we don't remember some of those people, but it, it might be appropriate not to just name everyone who played a role of sorts. And uh, I want to thank uh, Dr. H. Poyman Fambule. I want to thank him for his role. It's a uh, very, very instrumental role. Uh, Dr. Fambule, I want to say thank you. I want to say thanks to my lawyers in Sierra Leone. Uh, 
human rights lawyer, Abdul Koroma and his partner. Uh, I, I just want to say uh, thank you. Thank you very, very much for jumping to my defense. Uh, even, even though you don't know me and I, I want to say thanks to the both of you for your efforts, speaking to the BBC, making the case to the Sierra Leone government. I just want to say thank you. Um, speaking of the BB of the BBC, I know they were doing a job, but I want to say thank you to them for making my case, uh, top on their news agenda for several days running. I want to say thanks to the VOA for reaching out to me when I was in de de detention, when the situation had just happened. I want to say thanks to them. I want to say thanks to Front Page Africa, my, my friend, Rod Nassir. I know we have our disagreements here and there, which are normal, but the way in which he jumped on this case and how he the stories he wrote and i just want to say thank you rodney rodney see in a very special way i want to say thanks to the liberian media in general those of them who were supportive i want to say thank you i'm very grateful uh i want to say thank you to the cpp uh the statements that were issued I saw individual statements from the individual political parties. I'm grateful for my own party, the ALP, and uh, even the ANC. I'm very grateful for this support. Deeply grateful. I want to say thank you to my friend, Menipake Dumoy. Uh, Dumoy was extremely instrumental. Uh, I don't know what I should even say, how much Dumoy uh, did, but Dumoy was the guy who worked behind the scenes to get the Sierra uh, civil society together. He coordinated with my lawyers. Uh, Dumoy is just an amazing guy. I, I want to say thank you, my brother. I'm deeply grateful for everything you did, and uh, I, I and I will not, I I will never forget. Um. I would want to say thank you to our friends in the United States, in Liberia, around the world. I mean, the thousands and thousands of people who were praying for me. I want to say thanks to Chief Kali uh, for all your advocacy on your show. Uh, I'm very grateful. I want to say thank you to Prophet Key. Yes, Prophet Key. Uh, Prof. Key is a very good human being. Say what you may about him, but he's a very good human human being, and he's a and he's a patriot. Prof. Prof. Key, I want to say thank you. I'm very, very deeply grateful for everything you did. You didn't rest. You kept talking. You kept blasting. I want to say I appreciate it. Thank you very much, Prof. Key. I, I want to say thanks to Brother Seku Kenneth. Siku, thank you, my brother. I heard what you did. I, I appreciate it. I appreciate everything you did. Even though I'm told you were not very well uh, and you have not been doing your show, but when my situation went down, you decided to brave the storm and to get back on air and, and, and to advocate and for my, for my release. I want to say thanks to all of you all of you who went on live, who posted, who changed your profile picture to my picture, I just want to say thank you. I am just grateful, grateful. Words are inadequate to express it. I mean, I heard people were fasting and praying and all of you, I could not be more thankful and more grateful. I thank you. I want to say thank you to my C, my COP, my dear beloved COP. I want to say thank you for everything you did. Mo Ali, Reverend Stepter, Dr. Jeremiah Wapu, uh, Honorable Yeke Kolu, Koluba, uh, you know, uh, Reverend Saley, Kwamilin George, 
Momo Sambola and uh, Ben Tokba. And uh, yeah, I just want to say thank you to every one of you. Darius Delon, Senator Darius Delon, uh, Benjamin Samvi, and and all of you. I mean, I, I can't possibly name everyone right now, but I just want to say I thank you for everything you did. You know, the phone calls, the, the, the outreach. And I just want to say I'm deeply, deeply grateful for everything you did. You showed that we are an organization that we stand with one another, that we are one. And, and this just shows me that uh, this is how it should be, you know, that we should stand together. When one man is in trouble, everyone rallies around and we stand together firmly and united until that trouble goes away. And that is what the COP showed, showed me. I just want to say thanks to every one of you. And then, of course, I want to say thanks to some of you, some of you who not only prayed or fasted, but raised some money to chip in. Why I didn't really need it when I was in that situation, of course. But then when I left, I needed to buy plane tickets to fly out. I want to say thanks to Antoinette, Antoinette Young. I want to say thank you for the funds that you raised, you and others. I want to say thanks to Brother D. Flo. Uh, thanks to you for the efforts that you, that you made as well, talking about the situation, raising funds on your platform. I want to say thanks to Stonebirch, Big Brother Stonebirch. I've really never spoken with this man. We've chatted a few times via WhatsApp, but he jumped on my case. He used his platform, he's used his voice, he raised funds. And I just want to say thank you very, very much. You work with Antoinette. I want to say thanks to my friends of Henry Costa, Philly, Philly, Philadelphia chapter. Uh, you know, uh, uh, big sister Nelly, my dear sister Howard West, and uh, sis Musu, and, and all of you. I, I'm sorry, I can't name everybody right now. Anna Hart, every one of one of you. I'm just grateful. Michael. Um, uh, every one of one of one of you, uh, you're going to have to forgive me for those of you whose names I will not be able to call yet today. I want to say thank you. Now I want to go to my sister, my dear beloved sister Telia Yuri. Telia is just amazing. She was she was on the next available flight to Freetown. And uh, before she got enough flight, Telia did not break down. She decided to be strong, to make calls. Of course, I cannot forget Martin Colley, Martin K and Colley. Martin, I saw the pieces you, you wrote. I saw everything. She just wanted to say thank you. Like I said, there are some names I'm going to forget here, which is normal, which is expected. But it does not go without saying how deeply grateful I am for each of your roles you played in helping secure my release and my return to to the to the uh, United States. But back to Telia Yuri. You know, sometimes your family uh, pe people who normally say, "Yeah, of course, your family should do what they should do," uh, but. They don't have to do certain things. But what Telia did was extraordinary. She got on the flight, on the next available flight out of Liberia. She was in Sierra Leone. She made tons of phone calls to well-placed people within the Sierra Leone government. Of course, she, she knows a lot of people there, a lot of key people. And uh, she was on that plane with me from Freetown to Casablanca, Morocco. In fact, it was a her idea that rather than stay in Casablanca for eight hours uh, during layover until we connected with our next, I mean, until we got on the next MRF flight to to uh, New York, I believe, Teller said, no, we should leave Morocco as soon as possible. 
because you never know anything could happen and uh, very brilliant girl and so we she went online searched and we found another ticket another flight and that's how we flew from by the time we got to Morocco we spent uh, uh, one hour and a half and we were on the next flight out of Morocco and we flew from Morocco to Paris uh, Charles de Gaulle International Airport and from Charles de Gaulle we flew on to Dulles International yeah I just want to say thank you to you Telia in a very very special way I appreciate you I love you and uh, I will never forget I want to say thanks to Pazawie Pazawie by Gabriel Zawi. Oh, this old man is amazing. Uh, he's, he's amazing. Throughout, uh, he was in touch with me. He was doing this live video. He was posting. Oh, every one of you, the way Liberians came together, somebody was telling me, the way you all came together when my situation went down, it just made me see another side of Liberians that, truth be told, I haven't seen in a long time. Many of the people who were advocating for me and uh, were not even necessarily fans of mine. They're just people who love the country and would see the right things done and would not stand for it if something as bad as what is happening or what, what was happening to me happens. And that's what it showed. It showed a very good side of our people. We are a good people. Don't mind the politics and all the partisan divisions in our country, driven largely by our president. But Liberians are a wonderful people. Wonderful, wonderful people. So I just want to say I thank, I thank every one of you. I want to thank, um, um, like I said, there's some people who I'm not going to say exactly everything they did. Uh, I, I want to thank my old man, Benana Yuri. I want to thank Ante Maeve. I want to thank everyone. The old man, Joe Boakai. I reached out to him during the situation. Of course, he started working the phones. I just want to say thanks to all of you. Every single one of you. I want to say thanks to the people in the, in the, in the, in the U.S. In a very special way, too. To those who organized the Welcome Back Party. I was on the plane from Tel and I were on this flight nine hours from Paris to <laughs> from Paris to uh, to to Dulles in Virginia, and it was a long, long flight. And Brother Darlington Collins was in touch with me. Oh, man, we want to make sure we organize something for you. Uh, I was like, Oh my God, I am just leaving for Christ's sake. But they, they were not going to take, except no for an, for an answer. And so I said, fine, you guys go ahead. And I was like, okay, I, I don't expect much. This is short notice. I mean, I'm flying into the U.S. on Thursday, Friday, and then on Saturday. They want to have a welcome back thing. I said, all right. So they went ahead. They organized it. A welcome back. And I went there. And it was beautiful. I want to thank all of you, Sister Winifred Johnson, and Brother Darlington Collins, and Brother Larimer. Uh, uh, this is a problem I have. Somebody is apparently disturbing this phone. Oh my God. <clears throat> Are you there, Boga? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, stay there. I need to do something with this phone. Somebody is bothering this line. Yeah? I don't know why some people would be calling. You can carry on walking out while I try to do something about that phone. But somebody is bothering that phone line and I have to fix it. Okay, folks. So, uh, welcome. If you just join our broadcast, this is uh, uh, the Costa Show coming to you live from Delaware in Morovia. If you've you been listening to uh, Henry Costa, appreciating folks uh, that supported him uh, one way or the other you know he may not call everybody name but if you are there you're viewing and